Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Soft Skills of Glory Hub. Thank you very much for always liking my videos, for leaving comments, and most importantly, thank you very much for always subscribing. Thumbs up. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been with me, thank you for always sticking. All right, so what will I be talking to you about today? Today, I'll be talking to you on how to stop doing other people's work or how to stop taking on the responsibility or task of your team members. So if you find yourself on a team where it looks like you're the only one always doing the work, it could be overwhelming and, you know, could wear you out. So this video is for you. So what should you do? Number one, you need to clear yourself of the mindset that if I don't do it, nobody else will do it. That's not true. The work can be completed and can go on without you. So get off that mindset because that body language could be read by your team members and would use that against you to just leave the work and allow you to always and keep doing it. So get off that mindset. If you don't do it, somebody else will do it. Number two, be honest with your schedule and your deadlines. So a team member or a colleague comes to you and they want you to help or assist them in doing something. Let them see that your hands are full and you have deadlines to meet and taking on their own responsibility could actually hinder you from meeting your own deadline or carrying out your own task. So be honest about it and let them see your schedule. Number three, don't always play the superhero. Don't always be the one to run to the rescue. So rather than helping them do something, teach them what to do, show them the way to do it and let them do it by themselves. So. Don't play superhero, show them what to do. And the last point is learn to say no politely. So you have a colleague who always comes to you to, ah, Mr. B, can you do this for me? Mr. A, I want you to do this for me. Oh, I'm so sorry, I wouldn't be able to do that now because my hands are full. Or please, I can't do that now. I would rather come back to you, you know, when I'm chance to do it. So do not be scared to say no, learn to say no, but please do say it politely and give reasons for your saying no. So I hope you've learned from this video. If you did, please like, leave a comment and do not forget to subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.